Hello, welcome back to Subtech Online and I greet you Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to this tutorial on data validation in Google Sheets. Uh, data validation in Google Sheets is a useful feature which we have here in data menu. It is a useful feature that uh, it helps us to set rules for the data that is entered into your spreadsheet. Uh, this can ensure accuracy and consistency. Uh, because you'll always have options set for selection by the users, uh, by you to the users. To start using data validation in Google Sheets, obviously you'll always first select the cells you want to apply to, then you go to the data menu, then you select data validation. It is automatically, you'll have the pane on the right, which I already have here. So uh, there are many options you can set. I will start with you can set drop downs in many categories in chips, uh, text, and uh, arrows. We're going to go through that. Then you can set a validation of a date such that no one can ever enter a date before, let's say today, a date after today. No one can enter a date between a certain range. Then you can also go for values like if I enter here 13, it will tell me that you have to enter a number that is greater than 100. So if I enter 123, I'm coward to go. Then here, I have set a custom of an email, which means if I enter something like ca at g.com, they don't see that as an email. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is already an email because it has an at and a dot com. But in case we enter this as da at g dot v it will not be seen as a valid email so uh, at the end of the day we are going to uh, understand how data validation works so let's begin now uh, beginning with drop downs how do we come up with drop downs i'm going to cancel all these i'm going to remove all the data validation i will delete my data that is already there uh, okay, we start with uh, drop downs. How do we create drop downs? So I will begin with chips, which has already been extended to Google Sheets. This is a new update. So I will select uh, the ranges where it can be a whole column, the range where I want to put my validation, go to the data menu, then data validation. Here it is on the right pane then add a new rule. The moment I add a new rule, by default, it will give you a drop down, of which it is giving me the chips by default. So there are two options. You can add uh, the options by typing yes, say yes, and a no. And here you can give them colors. A yes is green, and a no is red. So the moment I go to the advanced options, Advanced options, there, there is an option of showing a text in case someone uh, types a wrong option that is not in a part of your selections. Then if the data is invalid, what should they do? I always uh, want to reject. I don't always want to show a warning. I want to reject. Then it, the display type is a chip. We shall look at arrows. We shall look at text, how they work. So for a chip, I'll do done. And here we go. So the moment you hover on the rule, it will show you that this is the rule you're talking about. You see, it shows the hover. So if I select a red, a yes is green and that is red. So the moment, if I wanted to update this, I will use the edit button, go back, add another option and add maybe. So maybe I can have this one as amber. So I do done and apply to all the four drop downs so uh, if i came back i will have the maybe option now uh, we can do the same thing here uh, we add a new rule this time i'm going to pick uh, still drop down this time i'm going to pick from a range and uh, i will set my range already i've set my range on the selection sheet these are the type of fonts and okay then even if I don't give them color codes, but if you can, you go ahead and give them color codes. On advanced options, uh, I will always need to look at this. Maybe you can put a custom, please select the, the, the correct font type, reject, and this time I need an arrow. Okay, and when we go back, when we go back here, we should be having now the arrows. So you select Apple, you select 
Hawaii. Then another option, if you already have a validation and you want to use the same validation, you can copy it always and put it to the space you need. You'll have that validation done right. But remember this validation now is being uh, commanded or configured uh, in the same uh, rule. So in case this rule is deleted, all will be going off. But if you want to add a new rule, I will come here and uh, add a rule. Then uh, I can give this one a separate rule, let's say uh, from range. Then I do a selection again and uh, we go and select maybe the font types again. Okay. And go back. So uh, this time uh, when we do all, okay, we have edited this. No, we are not supposed to edit this because the selection was. So uh, I will leave this, then select the, the cells, add a new rule, put the options or pick them from a range. Our range is already here. Uh, sorry, here, then this. This is our range, then OK, then done. So I will go ahead for the advanced options. This time I want a plain text. Then uh, here, yeah, reject input and done. So for plain text, sorry, we did the arrows the other side. So for plain text, you'll be inquired just to backspace. So backspace, click Hawaii, backspace. Uh, or you can use the space button uh, to select like this, Apple. So that's how we deal with drop downs. Then uh, we go to uh, date validation. So how do we add date validation? So you select this and say add a new role. So in that, we on the criteria, we have options about date. If you say is a valid date, it means that I'm giving an option to my users that they only have to double click and select the date. There you go. Then uh, if I select this, uh, uh, this one is okay. So if I hover here, this is date. Okay, this is it. Now if I select on this and add a new rule, this time I want to add uh, if the date should be before a certain date or date is on or before so if i say before and i say today you can select or past year past month tomorrow if i say today and uh, i want to reject this and uh, i will show the 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 text selected in case you select a wrong one a help text then okay apply to all so applying to all which means if i double click here it will select for me, it will give me a date picker. So the moment I select 19th, it will tell me, by the way, you have to enter a date that is before today. So if I, I double click and enter 4th of Jan, it will accept. Then the same thing you do with values uh, here, because we put this, we put this, okay, let's add a new rule on values here. So you say new rule. Uh, this time we go on values and you say I want values greater than uh, 20. So which means if anyone puts values less than 20, then uh, we shall be able to see the rejection. So if I put 30, it is okay. If I put 12, it will automatically tell you enter the number greater than 20. So guys, uh, go ahead even and explore for email addresses. All those rules are there. Uh, explore for email address. There is checkboxes. I can do checkbox like this. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, just a moment, uh, done. Uh, select this, add a new rule. This time you can go for checkboxes and done. So which means here you can have a checkbox if you are to do your, your to-do list or a roadmap to kick off some things that you don't need uh, or already done or in complete state. So that's how we deal with data validation. There is a lot. Explore. And please leave us a comment. If this has been helpful to you, please give us a, a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to receive a notification immediately we upload this in a new video. Thank you, guys. I'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.